You know, one thing about Kenyans, doesn't matter what part of the country you're from, what skin color you are, what religion you are, they're gonna have one of these. They're gonna have some variation of it. Let me, hold on. I have this one, doesn't come off. You could have one with Kenya on it. You could have one with your name. On. There's so many variations, but every single Kenyan inside and outside Kenya is gonna have one of these. We just tag ourselves. This is how we know. I see someone with this bracelet, I know they're Kenyan. Immediately start a conversation. Someone sees me, they see it, they immediately start a conversation. It does not matter. Like, I just, every single Kenyan has one. And I just, I want to know how it got this far. Because it doesn't matter what part of the world you're even in. You could be in Canada, you could be in Kenya, you could be in Dubai, you could be in, like, Germany. Kenyans will be wearing some form of this bracelet. Because when somebody asks me, where are you from? I'm going to point to this. If you're Kenyan, you basically have this. And I have two. I have one with my name and just one a regular one. But I realize not a lot of people get to go to Kenya. Not a lot of people get their own diaspora ID. So we're we're gonna make necklaces a thing. Like it's so cute, it's my flag. Do y'all see it? Aha. Uh -huh. From now on, it's just everybody's responsibility to learn flags. Because when somebody asks me, where are you from? I'm going to point to this. I meant, where are you from? I'm going to point to this. No, I meant, where are you from? I'm going to point to this. It's not my responsibility to spell it out for you, eh? <laughs> You're African. Go get your flag. <laughs> hey guys welcome to the channel it's so good to have you thank you so much for clicking when you saw this video so in today's video we're talking about the kenyan bracelet like why do you guys love this thing so much i didn't see the need for me to get one because i've actually not been someone who really loved to wear you know bracelets i'm not a fan sometimes i don't even remember i'm not wearing an earring like i'm not really you know a fan but i love those things each time i remember when i went to mamangina uh what is it water water for no it's not a fall okay mamangina water something waterfront in mombasa i saw where they were selling it when i went to a market close to the mamangina waterfront i also saw people selling it like outside there you're going to see people selling it see there in mombasa right even when you go to the market you're going to also see a lot of people selling it i love those bracelets but i've not really i'm not really a fan of bracelets and i think that's why i didn't get one okay i regretted it when i saw that everybody that I've ever gone to kenya buy these things like they wear it and i could i didn't have one to show for it <laughs> to show the fact that i was in kenya i lived in kenya i didn't have anyone to show for it and it was really painful but trust me when next i come i'm going to buy one of that okay so this lady everybody's just talking about this bracelet like if you go online you're going to be seen uh everybody's talking about it there was this one video i saw where a particular guy was saying tell me you're kenyan without telling me you're kenyan and this lady was just showing her bracelet like is a tag like this other lady has mentioned that this is a tag <laughs> this is the only way you need to find out who a kenyan is like it's so obvious they always very proud of their country okay so there's this particular white lady who has come out to say that one of the reasons why she loves kenyans is because of how proud they are about their country and you're always going to see and each of them wear one of those bracelets okay and there are actually varieties or yeah of this particular bracelet not just in a color even though at the end of the day you're going to also see the kenyan map okay or the kenyan flag on it okay but they are different they're just of different types uh i also like the other video you watch you see that lady also have like the kenyan flag on her neck and she mentioned something she said people need to start learning how to use people's flag to identify them and not keep asking oh where are you from immediately you see me you should see my flag on my neck on my hand are you able to find out where i am from okay so she's not ready to explain to anybody where she's from again you need to learn how to use flags to you know identify people i think i'm going to be one of those people who miss people's flags up okay because i'm not really so good at recognizing people's flags uh maybe i should start learning <laughs> so for you guys let me know what you think in the comment section but before then let's go watch this particular lady's video that's the um the white lady's video that mentioned uh uh how 
proud Kenyans are about their country, then we'll come back and react more. Hey, uh, there is something that I love very much about Kenya is that how much Kenyans are proud of their nationality. You guys wear the wristband. I see a lot of usernames with 254, uh, your name in Kenya. You are proud to show where you're from. And I really wish it was like that in Brazil as well, but unfortunately a few years ago a politician, I'm not going to say his name, uh, decided to use the Brazilian flag, uh, the national team jersey, to show who was supporting him. So basically he changed the meaning of national symbols. Now if you see a house with a Brazilian flag over there, you know that they are supporting this specific politician. If you see somebody walking on the street proudly with a national team jersey, supporter of him, and people who don't like and don't support him, like me, we don't wear the symbols anymore because we don't want others to think that we are on his side. So the jersey, the flag, they have become things that represent a specific party in Brazil that hopefully they're going to lose the elections and I really hope that those national symbols can return to the entire population, not just to a specific kind of people who support a specific candidate. This is terrible. So I really envy you guys that you can show your flag, that you can proudly say that you are Kenyans without any classification. You know, it's just the nation. <laughs> okay guys you guys have heard from the horse's mouth like yeah i love i love her narrations like kenyans are super super proud of their country and that's why when you saw them on the street everybody coming out to talk about the finance bill and rejecting the finance bill you guys they meant business they know what they wanted they are fighting for the country uh that they want to see okay not just for the future but also for the present because we have to start enjoying before the future will come right and if you say we are the leaders of tomorrow let us start today to you know uh, uh, you know as it be the whole characteristics of a leader okay and this is what you saw on the streets in the past few weeks okay and she said it, they're so proud of their country and everybody has the whole bracelet thing on she mentioned why they don't have bracelets you know, you can see a lot of people wearing such bracelets in Brazil because of political situation, okay, over there, uh, particularly that, uh, you know, coming out wearing the uh, Brazilian JC and everything, and everybody, it depends on uh, if you, if you, if you are in support of this person, then you need to start wearing the JC, then if you are not in support, you have to stop wearing it okay i don't know why that is like that because if we're a country then it shouldn't be one person having access to the country's uh uniform okay because the flag is the uniform of every country right i don't think it should be like that but yeah in her situation that's exactly how it is and she said she doesn't support this political group and that's why she can't wear it but she admired the father kenyans do this for their own country you guys kudos like i love it <laughs> i love it i do we have nigerian uh bracelets please if you're nigerian let me know in the comment section do we have bracelets like this but it's not so common even if it's there i don't think it's so so common i know randy's also has their own bracelet okay but it's not as uh as rampant as that of kenya okay yeah rwanda has their own bracelet i think uganda also has their own bracelet but yeah i don't think it's as common as kenya because everywhere you're going even here like anywhere i go to i'm always seeing kenyans wearing that bracelet and i don't need to ask you are you kenyan as i'm seeing that bracelet i know you're kenyan yeah, and before you know it, to start out a conversation just because you know your bracelet is on. I don't need to. And I, before you know it, I say, Oh, I love Kenya. I live in Kenya. And before you know it, they're hugging you. Oh, nice to meet you. I have this friend I also met in Rwanda who also is a Kenyan. And the way she, she, I just met her. Like, we're not really, really friends, but acquaintance. Okay. But like the lady, when, when I told her I lived in Kenya, she was so excited. It was as if she had seen her sister who came from Kenya and the conversation started just like that and we started flowing <laughs> okay guys let me know what your thoughts are about the Kenyan bracelet in the comment section I'll be here to read from you guys okay and if you have your own bracelet please 
by all means let us know <laughs> if you don't have please go and buy it it's not so expensive because this is now the new way of identifying who a real kenyan is which is the bracelet okay you want to go identify yourself by getting yourself one bracelet even if you're a foreigner and you live in kenya please get a bracelet okay you know just to feel among the community that's one of those things that community building is all about okay when you're in a when you're in rome they say be like romance okay so yeah get yourself a bracelet because i'm gonna get mine pretty soon okay thank you so much for watching guys see you guys in the comment section okay <laughs> drop a comment and also give this video a thumbs up okay and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you guys on my next video for now bye guys